Hi, and welcome again uh, with our uh, third video. As you see, we are talking about .NET Core. Uh, we are trying to implement WordPay payment. So we are here in the third video. So uh, what we have done in the last videos, and the first one and the second one, we just we already prepared the front end and we start with the back end code. So last time we add our uh, uh, World Pay SDK. Uh, so today we we'll try to uh, finish it, and we uh, first things we need to do our uh, service key. So how to call this our uh, the service key from uh, J JSON uh, app? So as we did in the in the front, we inject it in the front here, as you see here. We send it as injection here. So we need to call it same way we need to call it in the in the back back end code so uh, first thing is we need to take a declare or take an instance of the class sorry where, where we have written the our uh, keys it was uh, world pay settings this one this where we uh, wrote already our uh, keys okay let's say settings so now we need to inject it in the home controller so we'll call it world pay and we need to put it in the i option we need to call i options will be inside that uh, world pay settings let's call it uh, settings so we need to take this one equal this one why this one accepting this? Ah, sorry it will be that value that's great so uh this way, I think it's easier or more uh, professional to call your uh, key, but better than write it straight away in the code. That service key, that which key I need here, I need the service key. I need to convert it to string. It's already string, no problem, sorry. That's great. Uh, so uh, now I need that token. How to get the token? As we said, we send it with our data from the front. We can pass the amount to that uh, total. Uh, you can pass the name from there, as I told you. You can get as much as data you need. So what we send more from there? We send, I think, the email. You can pass the email to. I don't know where this one total. Why? Right? Oh, total. They said total. I'm sending double and it's here and here but it should be double they are crazy no problem let's uh, go to our data here we change it to int okay that's great uh, the email I think there is somewhere you can pass your email just let me see here there is an email and I don't have email I don't know where I saw it before no problem we can manage to find it you so here uh, let me put debug here and let's try to run it again and see what is happening so let's back to get test card and see how it will be running here uh, it will give uh, exception because there is a problem in the implementation of world pay SDK. I will show you exactly what's happening with us. So if I press on, uh, I need to write email. Let's say a at a dot com. Total I said uh, 150. So this token will come will be generated. Okay, that's great. So if I debug my data now, what I can see, I can see the mail, uh, the email I sent, the token and the total. So if I go next more here, I can see my 
uh, service key what I have written already in my uh, app setting you can straight away write it but back to you it will be better to inject it to this class uh, second things will create the order request it will use the token and the total it will prepare for you you can send as I told you the names to next the address you can send it from front to so here it will give me uh, exception uh, this exception they said the JSON has problem so this is what means this problem this problem came from the uh, world pay SDK from which one we have download because as I show you there the last update was before 10 months ago and something happened with the JSON they have update in the JSON WordPay they should update it uh, what we can do it's a problem it's from WordPay side not our side so uh, what we can do they should update it uh, I have done it by myself but I can't publish it because uh, this one payment and it's money you can't play with money so they should update it but to continue on our uh, uh, videos I will uh, I will just implement my SDK I just added as a reference uh, let's suppose this one let's call it uh, old and I will uh, implement or I, uh, I will put my copy uh, let me just give me a second to copy what where is it my so here I put it here okay let me delete that old one the assembly there is this one okay we'll give all this errors let's take copy the path and we go to add it as a reference again okay this one okay and same time now it will come automatically but same time I need to add the JSON nugget this one too because I already changed it on the uh, SDK okay so now uh, hopefully it will work but I think 100% will work because I already tested so let me just take this card number and wait till this be running Mm, that's a great it's coming so that name let's put name let's say the cart let's say this one one two three so remember here always will show us the token and we'll come to our bag here what they have oh email why not email i forgot to no problem we don't need it next next the address they have many things you can use it in the word pay at what pay you can send address shipping address they are they are more flexible so now here they said your payment should be successful because let's if we need to check it where is it here okay if there is an exception we'll say to us there is exception oh there is exception bad request what is the bad request go well, we can check our bad request what is it so they anyway they will uh, show us this bad request the description for that uh, they said parameters are invalid check the request with the JSON schema amount is zero yeah where is the amount total here so let me continue on and try one more time again so I for I think I forgot I'm not, I can't remember it. Let's say 10, 2020. 20. So this one should be careful about them always. Let's say amount. This is the oldest one will be changed now straight away. Okay. So let's check our data. It's coming or no? Yes, that's great. Next, next. That's fantastic. Now. Oh, fine it's working so 
let me just see the amount I put here uh, we pass 150 it will be 150 only there so now here after after you you can manage that things if you you set your uh, payment successful you can forward it to a successful page with the transaction so even here you can get more that I will show you now you can get the transaction ID you can get many things uh, here I don't have any page to, to forward you just uh, showing you how is it uh, so if I go to world pay I should find 150 or 650 I have before one let's go back down again so this my I sent 150 exactly uh, so that's it it's easy to implement world pay more than any other one it's back to you how to which data you need here they said the order code you can get the order code but if you need to suppose the there is a you can get I think the status here the, you can get many many things you can check the payment that if it's successful so you can send somewhere and you get more data you can get the order code uh, there is many things you can use them uh, that's it word pay in a few videos I'll show you one more th I think till here we can say enough and uh, see you in the new videos thank you and bye bye